The beauty of the lithium ion is that we can fit about twice as much usable power in the same space, uh, which is huge for us, and then it's far more reliable. We don't have to worry about draining the thing down to zero. The lithium ion will kind of take whatever you give it, and so for us, it's a great solution. We've got, we've got reliable power whenever we need it. Lead acid batteries, they care a lot about how you charge them and you only get about 50% of the power out of them before you need to shut them off and stop discharging. If you're discharging them more than 50%, you start damaging the battery. And so for us, that means as our battery started to age and had less power available to give us, we'd have to start looking at our battery levels every night before we went to bed to see whether we needed to turn the refrigerator off. A lead acid battery only has so many cycles before it's, before it's dead and lithium ion has 10 to 20 times as many cycles and so if you're cycling every day it's a no-brainer you're going to get you're going to get your money's worth out of a lithium ion battery i think a lot of people get scared away by the price of a lithium ion battery and it scared me away when we started too but in the end i think if you if you take a look at how much power you need and how much space you have available to you and how long you want that battery to last, the cost of ownership really isn't any worse than, than a lead acid battery. It just means you only have to put it in one time instead of changing it out every two years. I, I see these things as being useful for vans, for RVs, for, for boats, anywhere that you're not able to plug in and you want power. If you need it, this is the way to get it, I think. After using a couple of different options, I'm, I'm pretty sold on this.